When I was young, success looked to me like um, the model of my, my dad. My dad was a very successful high school football coach here in Columbus, Ohio, and then had a great uh, business career after that. So building a successful family and what does that look like and being there for your, your wife and your kids, but acquiring things, um, you know, making money for the family and moving up. Um, I have a, a whole different view of success uh, these days. Success for me is um, how can I help people, you know, reach their God-given potential. And I'm now 51 years old as of uh, this past Friday. Um, it's about how do I learn and grow and how do I help others and how do I contribute. I was a, a business guy and had moved into a business venture that didn't, didn't work out. I thought I had a good sense of what it meant to be humble, but until you've actually been humbled in a hard way, um, that was really a time where I, I leaned on God and I le leaned on my family. And over the last year, it's been a really, really difficult year for me. I've gone through a, a, a medical crisis, uh, a cancer diagnosis. God has taught me a lot through this. It's, it's just been a wonderful blessing for me to go to go through that hardship. It's like you know praying for patience, and and God gives you children. We pray for strength, and God rewards that strength with hardship. And that's how you develop perseverance. That's how you develop the strength to continue on. And that's where you really lean on your faith and you lean on your, your family and close friends. And the person that's really showed God to me uh, the most through all, all this difficulty and change and the medical situation is without a doubt my wife. We've been married now 28 plus years and um, it's hard to describe the kind of love that she's expressed. And I think that's what God's picture of, of marriage and children is all about. I've always known it's there, but when you go through a really, really dark questioning, not sure if you're gonna make it type time, that's when I've really seen the love of my wife and my family. And all those things um, that, the, that the world would say um, means you're successful. You know, I've just learned the exact opposite and it, and it took me a long time and I'm still learning, but the world may say that, you know, I was successful. I was the, I was uh, at one point in time, the president of a, of a global billion dollar uh, business. What they don't hear often, uh, which I like to share is the deep valleys, <laughs> share and learn and listen and mostly have an, an others focus. And um, you actually can do both. You can be very successful at whatever you do as a profession or a job. And you can also love Jesus and share that um, every day. And our world talks a lot about um, just being successful and making money and doesn't maybe give credit to people that can also be successful but at the same time be humble and help others. Success is not the job or uh, the company or, or their bank account or things of that nature. It's about the relationships that they cultivate uh, and grow throughout, throughout life. Now that I'm into my 50s and on my third career, what I like to say is I'm just getting started.